Uh, the the first time I I went to the arena, the first time that I saw it, I was like, "Whoa, y'all! It's a big arena." And then like we entered to it, and it was like, "Okay, everyone is like so sweet and like, hey, chill." I mean, you have also like good shoes. There's nothing to worry about. Even to, if you step on the grid over there, you see see the white stripes. It ends over here. You can feel it. But over here, you can't feel it. If they step by side. The stage is huge, by the way. You, you saw it, right? Yeah, okay. And then uh, they said, okay, sing now. And we were like, <laughs> you know. Attention for playback. Okay, now The, the biggest concert that I've ever made, there were 9,000 people, and it was freaky. <laughs> and 25,000, okay, people, it's, it's a huge number. Hey, hey, baby, want me back today? Won't you ever take my shit and sail away? Have you got a costume plan? Are you just gonna turn up as you? Uh, I first thought naked, but then like uh, they told me that it's gonna be aired on like you know, and like uh, 100 million people would see it, and then we considered like the 99 million of it wouldn't want to see that. Uh, so I guess like let's wear something, and we have this like awesome costume designer called Hatice Gökçe in Turkey. <laughs> The thing is that, like in Turkey, uh, I like my music and me as a person considered as an alternative uh, type, you know. And you know, before before you like, I, I don't know anything about Eurovision before this, actually. Uh, but the one thing I know that every every year, uh, much more like experienced and elder artists. Uh, so it gets selected uh, to Eurovision and like sings uh, our uh, conventional pop music. But I don't know what happened this year and I get selected and everyone in Turkey was like, what the what? <laughs> like this guy, like John Bono with the, all the tattoos and the craziness. And uh, it, it was like, you know, our national te television called TRT. Uh, it was it was a brave selection. I think they're trying something, and hopefully it's gonna work. Maybe. And uh, I, I, you know, uh, Kurt Kalea, Malta. We my friends. I'm Kurt Kalea, and I'm John Bonomo, and we are friends. <laughs> <laughs> and like he, he's a pretty chill guy. So uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I'm being fair because like now we're friends. Maybe maybe that's why. But. He has a star shine, you know, like he has the, you know, uh, the stage presence and uh, the song is like a cool song too, it's catchy, uh, he, he has a good chance too. For example, uh, you know the uh, Montenegro song, Era and Era? That's a cool song. That's a chill song. That Albania girl's voice is crazy. <laughs> the thing, okay, okay, I'm, I have to tell this. Okay, we were in Amsterdam, okay? It was the uh, well, Eurovision in concert, yeah, that thing. Uh, we went to the sound check and like we were pretty chill and I said okay it was my turn and I went up to the stage and sing the song and like get down and I was like having a conversation with my friends like you know with my new friends like it was pretty chill uh, and then like this girl came up to the stage and we turned back all right and like continued the conversation and she, she started singing and like the whole conversation stopped like what the you know like She's singing like instead of a diaphragm, she has a compressor in her stomach. Like it's whoa.
Thank you very much for our first panel rehearsal.